So we've been talking about setting good routines and habits for the new year. And one of those things that we are doing is we're doing different Bible reading plans. And on our website, if you're looking for a Bible reading plan and you want to join others who are doing it as well, sometimes accountability is a good and helpful thing to keep you on track. I know last year, several of us read through the Bible. I got behind so many days and it was very much an accountability thing for me because I knew that others were counting on me to finish with them. So I encourage you to go on our website to capitallife.org slash uh, Bible reading and there you will find different um, plans that our leadership team members are doing that you can join them. There's a link on there and you'll first want to download the app which is uversion.com and that way you'll be able to uh, join us in our Bible reading plan. Some are doing a read through the Bible, some I'm doing one that is partial Bible, so it's Old Testament and New Testament going through the big stories and finding Jesus in, in everything that we do. And so I encourage you to do that so that every day that you're in the Word of God. And then also prayer. We of course want to read our Bible and pray every day like the Bible um, song, you know, when we were little kids we would sing in church, read your Bible, pray every day. And so this is a discipline that we want to encourage and if you are looking for a place to pray and to learn how to pray, we encourage you to come on January 20th at the church from 7 to 8 p.m. and we will have a time of praying together. We encourage you to email prayer at capitallife.org if you have any questions. And I know that Boris and Victoria will be there and be leading our prayer time. So we encourage you to be there for that. And there will be more opportunities for prayer times in the future as well. So be looking for those. Also, we're looking for life group leaders. We are about to launch new life groups for the winter season. And so we are encouraging you to go to capitallife.org slash groups. And you can apply by January 17th or email julie at capitallife.org. If you're interested in leading a life group, life groups of all kinds. So we have Bible study groups, we have Zoom groups, we have in-person groups, and there are different ways that you can serve at Capital Life Church. And one of those ways is to lead a life group. Maybe you feel like, you know what, I don't think I'm qualified to lead a life group. But if you can read and if you love Jesus and you love people and Capital Life Church has been your home for more than six months, then you are qualified. And of course, we want to encourage the gathering of people. And of course, we are continuing to stay safe with social distancing and masks and all of those things. But we want to make sure that you are connected because it's so important that we are um, growing in our relationship with Jesus and with one another. So we encourage you to do that. Go to our website and look around, find out how you can get involved, whether it's outreach, prayer, Bible reading, life groups, whatever it is. So God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you soon in this new year. God bless you.